Huge news! Elon Musk recently made huge waves in the auto world by smoothly acquiring none other than Ford Motor Company. Yeah, you heard that correctly. One of the most iconic car brands in American history is now officially part of Musk's booming empire. But why? How did Elon pull off this jaw-dropping move without causing a commotion? Let's break it down because this will definitely change the entire industry. Why exactly is this a big deal? Well, for starters, many people are shocked because these two have been rivals for a long time. So this revelation caught a ton of people totally off guard. This is absolutely bonkers. These two have been defining the auto scene like a couple of heavyweight boxers ever since the Blue Oval brand rolled out its electric lineup to take on Tesla's innovative empire. It's been an all-out showdown to see who can cook up the most exhilarating rides. Think back to the moment when Ford unleashed its electric F-150 Lightning, which hit the market just after Tesla flaunted its futuristic and angular Cybertruck like it owned the runway. Fast forward to today, and now we're witnessing the fierce face-off between Ford's chic Mustang Mach-E SUV and Tesla's ever-popular Model Y crossover. Sure, the Mach-E's got a bit of a price punch, but it's stealing the spotlight with its sleek aesthetics and cozy interior vibes. And the Model Y? Let's just say it's been branded a tad plain in comparison. But here's the kicker. Even as these automotive giants clash day in and day out, Ford's electric lineup is still managing to grab a nice piece of Tesla's market share. So Elon had to make a plan, and that genius billionaire did just that. And his plan already started. How to kill a giant Well, you know the saying, in order to make an omelette, you have to crack a few eggs. And that's what Tesla did. Tesla has been actively implementing price cuts across its vehicle lineup in various markets throughout 2024. These bold price slashes in the electric vehicle market have kicked off a major price war that's shaking things up for competitors, and Ford is feeling the heat more than anyone else. This fierce competition has imposed a hefty financial burden on Ford's EV division, forcing the company to rethink its production timelines and strategies. The price war has left many of the competitors scrambling to keep up and stay relevant. We're talking about a full-on scramble that's squeezing profit margins across the board, particularly for legacy players like Ford who are struggling to adapt to this bold new world of EV pricing. Now they have had to push back its ambitious target for cranking out 600,000 electric vehicles a year from the end of 2023 to now the end of 2024. Why the change of plans? Blame it on demand that hasn't quite matched expectations, which is only made worse by Tesla's price cuts. Ford CEO Jim Farley has been pretty candid about the pressure they're under, saying that the pricing crunch is really making it tough to hit those earlier production goals. Plus, with the gap between gas-powered cars and EVs closing in, people just aren't willing to shell out the extra cash for electric cars like they used to. On top of that, let's talk losses, and they're not pretty. Ford's EV, which they call Model E, reported a jaw-dropping loss of $700 million in just the first quarter of 2023. Yeah, you read that right. That translates into a staggering negative margin of over 100%. In other words, for every dollar they make selling EVs, they're losing a dollar right back. And if you think that's bad, brace yourself. Ford's forecasting that these losses will balloon to a whopping $3 billion for the entire year, up from $2.1 billion the previous year. Rising costs for materials and production are really piling on the pressure, and right now, the money spent exceeds what's coming in from EV sales. And here's where it gets trickier. Ford's variable costs are actually higher than the revenue from each electric vehicle sold. This means the more EVs they sell, the deeper into the red they go. Can you believe it? Ford's essentially buying market share, but at a hefty financial loss, which is definitely not a winning strategy for profitability. So how is Ford responding? They've been forced to cut prices too, particularly on hot models like the Mustang Mach-E. In January 2023, Ford unveiled price cuts that range from $600 to a hefty $5,900 on various models. And this is all after Tesla slashed the base price of the Model Y SUV by an eye-popping $13,000. These changes are part of Ford's ongoing battle to keep their edge in an ever-shifting market landscape. UBS is ringing alarm bells, suggesting that Tesla's aggressive pricing could rock the automotive world. Legacy players like Ford, burdened with higher costs, are facing a tough choice. And that is exactly what Tesla wanted. How big of an issue is this for Ford? Let's talk about those production setbacks first. Ford isn't just dropping the ball, it's redefining delays in the EV arena. 
Take, for example, that shiny new three-row electric SUV everyone's been buzzing about. Its launch has been pushed back from 2025 to 2027. Meanwhile, the next-gen electric truck is now slated for 2026 instead of earlier plans. Why the changes? It's all part of a bigger strategy, giving Ford a chance to re-evaluate its EV lineup amid the rapidly changing market and evolving expectations. And they desperately need this. If you start to dig into Ford's recent numbers and you might want to grab some popcorn, you'll realize that it is just like a roller coaster ride. In the first quarter of 2024, Ford's electric vehicle sales took a nosedive, plummeting by a whopping 20% compared to the same time last year. That's not the kind of news they were hoping to hear, right? To add salt to the wound, the revenue from the Model E division dropped like a rock, with an eye-popping 84% decline, ringing in at only around $100 million in those three short months. Talk about a reality check. Now let's shine a light on the Model E situation. Ford reported a jaw-dropping loss of $1.3 billion. Yeah, you heard that right. That's the kind of number that makes you sit up and take notice. When you break it down, that translates to an eye-watering loss of over $132,000 for each of the 10,000 electric vehicles they sold. Can you believe it? That's a massive jump from last year's average loss of about $40,525 per vehicle. It's like they've just turned the profitability meter to zero, or maybe even into the negatives. That is why they're taking their time to rethink their strategy, and that is what they did. As Ford tackles the bumps along its journey, it's putting a spotlight on hybrids. Think of them as Ford's trusty bridge, connecting those gas-guzzling internal combustion engine vehicles to the sleek world of full electric models. But why? Why focus on hybrids now? Well, to answer that, we need to talk about cash flow, so let's talk about it. By April 2024, Ford had racked up sales of 56,418 hybrid vehicles, marking an impressive 47% increase from just a year ago. That's definitely something to celebrate. And the revenue pouring in from Ford's classic ICE vehicles, especially their beloved trucks and SUVs, is still a major lifeline, fueling the ambitious plans for the company's EV initiatives. Ford's strategy for funding its EV vision leans heavily on its sturdy ICE vehicles and their ever-growing hybrid offerings. It's a smart approach to keep those financial wheels rolling smoothly while they navigate the twisty road toward a more eco-friendly, sustainable future. So how does this work? Well, those ICE vehicles don't just sell, they rake in the cash, and their profit margins are super high, so that they can fund their EV sector. And by the end of the decade, Ford wants to have hybrid options rolling out across its entire fleet. We're talking about fan-favorite models like the F-150 and Maverick, which already come with a hybrid powertrain. The F-150 Power Boost Hybrid is a beast of a truck and is absolutely crushing it on the sales chart, with a jaw-dropping 93.6% boost in sales. That's right, it's not just any hybrid, it's officially the top-selling full-sized hybrid pickup in America. What's the secret sauce? It's packed with innovative features, including the game-changing 7.2 kilowatt Pro Power onboard capability. This fantastic feature lets you power your tools and appliances right from the truck, making it a total game-changer whether you're on the job site or enjoying a weekend getaway. And then there's the Maverick Hybrid, which has taken the crown as the best-selling hybrid pickup overall. In just the first four months of 2024, this beauty has sold a staggering 26,061 units. That's enough to make any competitor sweat a little. Here's an interesting twist, though. 59% of Maverick buyers are actually swapping from other brands. This statistic speaks volumes about its appeal as a fresh alternative to the used small SUVs people often gravitate toward. So now you might think, everything is good, right? If they keep on doing this until the EV market becomes profitable, they'll be victorious. Well, that's not what's happened here because Elon is coming for this newfound goldmine of a strategy. And he's not slowing down. But it's not just for the sake of making more money, it's a survival tactic. Tesla needs this. But why? Why does Tesla need Ford? Well, there are three reasons. Let's dissect it together. Growing the market Ford can't keep bleeding money, even if they have got an amazing cash cow in the form of a hybrid, and Elon knows this. But the market right now is facing so many challenges, and one company in struggle means the whole industry is about to be in one. And it has already started. It's been a bit of a roller coaster ride lately, with all sorts of twists and turns that have left investors biting their nails. Have you noticed how fluctuating stock prices have become the norm? 
Take Tesla, for instance. Their shares took a 15% hit in 2023 compared to the shiny days of 2021 and 2022. It's a similar story for BYD, whose stock also dropped by 15% in 2023 compared to the previous year. When you look at the big picture, pure EV car makers collectively lost nearly 20% of their market capitalization on average since 2022. And then there's Rivian, which saw its stock soar by 37% after securing a sweet $5 billion investment deal with Volkswagen. But before you get too excited, keep in mind that it's still down a staggering 91% from its all-time high. Talk about a mixed bag. Now let's talk about some of the newer players in the game like Vinfast, Polestar, Canoe, Fisker, Lucid, and Nikola. It looks like they've been struggling to meet their sales targets and are finding themselves trading at lower prices. And if you're keeping an eye on venture capital, you'll notice that things aren't looking too hot there either. In 2023, global investments in clean energy startups, including those cooking up cool EVs and battery tech, took quite the tumble. Early stage investments fell by 20% to $1.4 billion, while growth stage investments plummeted by 35% to $10.1 billion. That's a pretty steep decline. But here's the silver lining. Despite all these hurdles, the EV market is still on a growth trajectory, evolving with companies and investors hunting for new opportunities up and down the supply chain. As the waters get choppy, though, cautious and informed investment decisions will be paramount. And that is what Elon is doing. If the second biggest EV maker in the country decides to shift strategies, it means huge investments won't be pouring into the industry. Tesla doesn't want that, and that is the first reason they want to acquire Ford. But let's talk about the second one. Backup plan When the road gets tough, every company needs something to fall back on. And right now, a lot of analysts and investors are starting to think and ask if we're witnessing an epic bubble forming around Tesla's stock. And it's causing quite a stir in the financial circles. Legendary hedge fund manager and longtime Tesla adversary Lekender has gone so far as to suggest that this could be the biggest stock market bubble in modern history. He's not just throwing around wild claims. He argues that Tesla's business model is starring down seriously tough challenges. Dwindling demand combined with a dearth of new models until 2025 might just send the stock price spiraling down to $14 a share. That would represent a staggering 91% drop from where it stands today. And Tesla's stock has already taken a hefty hit, plummeting nearly 60% from its all-time highs. It seems like the buzz around this electric vehicle giant is losing steam. Analysts are expressing concerns about Tesla's ability to keep the growth engine revving in an increasingly competitive EV landscape filled with traditional automakers stepping up their game and launching their own electric offerings. Then there's the earnings, and it's not pretty. Lekender warns that Tesla's earnings could drop by a shocking 50% in the coming year, which only adds fuel to the bubble fear fire. He points out that Tesla is pretty dependent on a couple of models, the Model 3 and Model Y, so if sales for these don't hit the mark, the company could find itself in a tight spot. So now, investors who reckon that the stock is grossly overvalued have started to place their bets against it, anticipating a downward trend. But short selling is a high-stakes game. If the stock price goes up, short sellers have to scramble to cover their positions, which can lead to catastrophic losses. So let's take a step back and put this whole scenario into historical context. This situation feels a lot like previous market bubbles, when stock prices soared based more on hype than solid fundamentals. Tesla's stock is under the microscope, with all these concerns swirling around its valuation and the prospect of earnings taking a dive. Can Tesla's current valuation hold up, or is this bubble on the verge of bursting? Either way, Tesla needs something to fall on, just like Ford is doing with their hybrids. And this is the second reason why Tesla needs Ford. And what's the third reason? Competition Chinese manufacturers are stepping up their game and becoming a serious thorn in Tesla's side, shaking up its market share and financial performance. This shift isn't just a blip, it's a big wave. First up, let's talk about the loss of market share. BYD, one of China's leading EV manufacturers, just made headlines by officially outpacing Tesla in sales for the first time ever in late 2023. Can you believe it? BYD sold a stunning 526,000 fully electric vehicles, while Tesla managed 484,000 in the same time frame. This marks a pivotal moment in the global EV landscape where Tesla has held the crown for so long. But it doesn't stop there. Chinese EV manufacturers are on a tear, quickly expanding their presence both at home and beyond. 
By 2022, China had claimed its place as the world's largest auto exporter, with over 5 million vehicles shipped abroad. A big chunk of these were new energy vehicles made by Chinese brands. This explosive growth has turned up the heat for Tesla, as more consumers are drawn to these innovative and wallet-friendly options. And let's talk about some of the sweet perks for these Chinese companies. The Chinese government is all in, offering hefty subsidies that benefit both manufacturers and local buyers. This translates into significantly lower prices for Chinese EVs, making them way more attractive than Tesla's pricier models. With tax breaks and incentives flying around, you can see why Tesla might be feeling the squeeze. Now, what about innovation? Those Chinese manufacturers are not just sitting pretty, they're cranking out new models fast. They're tailoring their offerings to meet a wide range of consumer tastes. For instance, NIO and Zika are launching feature-packed, affordable vehicles that are pulling buyers away from Tesla. Just take Zika's June 2024 numbers. They delivered over 20,000 units, which is an impressive 89% jump from the previous year. Clearly, there's a demand for these exciting Chinese EVs. So, what can Tesla do? This is how Tesla is going back to the drawing boards and thinking about such bold things. I mean, let's face it, it's not just about the sleek designs and futuristic vibes anymore. It's about being strategic and bold. So, what's the game plan? First off, let's dive into their bold expansion of production capacity. Have you heard about the latest Gigafactories popping up? Tesla is cranking up its production capabilities like never before, tapping into the growing demand for its electrifying rides. They've rolled out new Gigafactories in places like Austin, Texas. It's a vast facility that's practically buzzing with activity. And another one in Berlin, Germany, which is strategically placed in the European market. These massive buildings aren't just for show, they're engineered to streamline Tesla's production process, boost output, and refine their operational efficiencies. Basically, Tesla is gearing up for a serious production ramp-up, meaning more cars hitting the road and less waiting around for eager customers. And let's talk about how Tesla is diversifying its product offerings. This isn't just a car company, it's a brand that wants to catch the eye of everyone, from tech enthusiasts to everyday drivers. So what's on the menu? Tesla's got new models in the pipeline that are creating quite the buzz. Think about the Cybertruck, which is already a control phenomenon and has folks counting down the days until they can secure their very own. And it doesn't stop there. They're also working on a more budget-friendly compact vehicle, opening the door for a whole new audience. By casting a wider net with this expanded lineup, Tesla isn't just appealing to its loyal fan base, but also aimed at snagging potential buyers who might have previously thought that an electric vehicle would out of their price range. It's all about embracing diversity in the lineup, so that whether you're looking for an extravagant road beast or a practical ride, Tesla's got something to pique your interest. And have you ever wondered what sets Tesla apart from the crowd of electric vehicles? It's all about building a rock-solid community and fostering brand loyalty that makes fans practically evangelicists. Tesla isn't just selling cars, they're crafting a lifestyle that resonates deeply with eco-warriors and tech enthusiasts alike. Their mission to speed up the world's switch to sustainable energy isn't just a catchphrase, it's the heart of the brand. This commitment to the environment speaks volumes to consumers who care about the planet, creating a passionate customer base that rallies around the brand like a family. And from a technical standpoint, Tesla is doing so many things to stand out. Forget about the clunky, old-school vehicles, Tesla is throwing traditional automakers for a loop with its cutting-edge software capabilities with over-the-air updates that add snazzy new features and improve vehicle performance without you even having to lift a finger. And let's not skip over the autonomous driving features, they're designed to make your drive almost feel like a futuristic joyride. This relentless push for innovation sets Tesla apart from the pack and solidifies its status as a front-runner in the electric vehicle landscape. But that is not all. Tesla is pouring resources into developing its very own battery cells, known as the 4680 cells. These bad boys aren't just a cool techie name, they're designed to kick up energy density levels and cut down production costs significantly. This isn't just a footnote in Tesla's playbook, it's a critical piece of their strategy to stay ahead in a market that's becoming increasingly competitive. With improvements in battery technology, Tesla isn't just maintaining an edge over its competitors, they're ensuring their profitability stays in the black even as prices fluctuate. And let's not forget about that sprawling supercharger network. If you're worried about finding a place to charge when you're out and about, Tesla's got your back. They're relentlessly expanding their supercharger stations, making it as easy as possible for the drivers to power up. This investment into charging infrastructure enhances the overall ownership experience, tackling one of the big 
biggest fears potential EV buyers have – access to charging stations. With more superchargers popping up, it's becoming a lot easier to hit the road without feeling like you're playing a game of bingo with charging locations. And here is where acquiring Ford's resources come into play. The Potentials If you've been paying attention to the auto scene, you know that this isn't just your run-of-the-mill collaboration. It's a revolutionary shake-up. Tesla has established a mind-blowing network of over 120,000 supercharger stations spread across the US and Canada. That's a major power move for anyone behind the wheel of an electric vehicle, right? Well, starting sometime in 2024, Ford drivers will get full access to these supercharger stations. And all they need is a simple adapter to plug right in. This isn't just a neat convenience, it's a huge confidence booster for Ford's electric offerings like the Mustang Mach-E. The ease of quick and convenient charging transforms the game, making it so much easier for Ford to compete in the EV space. Suddenly, those long wait times at charging stations are a thing of the past. Now let's shift gears and dive into manufacturing. Ford's factories are like a sprawling web of production capabilities, and when you mash that up with Tesla's innovative spirit, it's like turning the ignition on a turbocharged engine in the auto industry. By tapping into Ford's established manufacturing prowess, Tesla can crank up production in a way that feels almost like hitting the nitrous button. This is crucial in a market ravenous for electric vehicles. With Ford's robust facilities backing them up, Tesla can produce more cars, get them out to weaker customers faster, and keep the fan frenzy alive, all while trimming costs. Now that's what we call a win-win situation. And let's not overlook the treasure trove of opportunities in China. The EV market is absolutely exploding there thanks to a whopping population of over 1.4 billion people and a rapidly expanding infrastructure. By teaming up with Ford, which already has a solid foothold in China, Tesla can navigate this new territory with significantly less hassle. Think of it like having a trusty local guide when you're exploring uncharted waters. It makes everything smoother when building relationships and cashing in on opportunities. So when you look at the big picture, this partnership is all about enhancing access to charging stations, supercharging manufacturing processes, and tackling the vibrant Chinese market head-on. It's like setting the stage for a full-blown EV renaissance. Both companies kind of need each other desperately. But what are your thoughts on this electrifying duo? Could this collaboration be the secret source for dominating the electric vehicle landscape and turning heads along the way? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.